Hey, this is Russ. Hey, I got a new product to show you. Now, you might be wondering uh, why we have something like this. This is not an e-bike. Yeah, but it was sent to me by an e-bike company. Yeah, KBO Bikes sent this to me. They, uh, they asked me first if I do any type of camping, and I told them no. But they said that they had a product that they have available through their business partner, Ace Bolt. And I thought about it and I said, you know, this actually could be something that um, people with e-bikes would be interested in. Yeah, because I, I you know, I've been talking um, in past videos about this RAGBRAI event. This is the, well, what does RAGBRAI stand for? RAGBRAI is the Register's Annual Great Bicycle Ride Across Iowa. Yeah, I think the, uh, the Iowa newspaper started this, this ride many years ago and it's been going for many years and it's gotten to be very popular for bicyclists to ride across the state of Iowa. But I kept thinking, well, if you have an e-bike, how would you be able to do that? <laughs> Where would you charge your batteries up? If you had one of these units, you could do it, okay? So I decided to keep myself off of the video. I just wanted to show you the product here because uh, I think it'd be easier to see uh, more details if I just showed you the actual unit and then uh, also show you how you could charge it. Now you can notice here that we can charge the unit with solar panels and of course they gave me solar panels as well. They gave me the, uh, the larger solar, solar panels. In fact, it's, um, um, yeah, they, they have two types of solar panels. They've got the solar panel 200 and the solar panel 100. 100. I have the 200. Uh, let me give you some idea of pricing because um, people might be wondering. Uh, this particular unit is $1,899. The, um, the solar panels, let me see what the solar panels are. I keep forgetting the actual price of that. Uh, $599 for the 200. Yeah, so um, the, uh, the solar panels work well with this. I've actually charged the unit up to 70%. Let me turn the unit on here. So all you do is you just push and hold the button and then it'll turn on. Now you might hear a little fan kick in and then basically no more sound, yeah. Uh, there is a fan that cools uh, the unit down if, if it needs to, um, but um, for the majority of the time that you're running the unit, you don't hear anything. Yeah, it's just like a big, huge power bank. <laughs> so let me show you what this looks like here. Let me, let me turn the unit to the side. Yeah, it is a heavy unit. This thing is 48.5 pounds. Yeah, so it's not lightweight. Um, there's a little flip panel here. I, I will have to say this is a little flimsy. <laughs> Be careful of this, okay? But here's where you would charge the unit with an AC power cord. And these Anderson plugs is what you plug in uh, your, your uh, solar panels into. The minute you plug the solar panels in, it will sense it and immediately kick on the unit and it'll start charging. Um, there is a reset button here. Let me flip it around. I'll show you the other side here. Yeah, you can see there's six AC power outlets. Yeah, the fans are here. You can see kind of these little yellow stickers on the back of the fans. Um, all you need to do is plug in your e-bike charger into one of these and start charging your e-bike, okay? Let me, let me show you what else is on here. Let's move to the front. Okay, <laughs> I think I got that set up good. Uh, the front of the unit, well, um, cigarette lighter. <laughs> this is uh, XT60 connectors too, if you need to do that. A couple of uh, 12 volt, three amp uh, plugs are here. And there's of course uh, USB connections and type C USB as well. So you can see there's a lot of stuff you can use uh, to do this with. Uh, there, this thing here is just the flashlight, so emergency flashlight if you need it. Lots of information on here. I will say that when it's outside, it's very hard to read this blue LED uh, display. It's cool uh, seeing it inside here, but uh, outdoors is kind of hard to read it. Yeah, But um, it's a discharge uh, remaining. Uh, how many hours you can discharge it? You get like 99 hours at this point. I charge it up to 70% just uh, uh, to, to get it going. I use the solar panels to get it started. Um, and then input and output wattage 
shows you back over here. So let me tell you real quickly some, some statistics about the, the unit and uh, how you might actually be able to use it. Now, I said if, if you, if you talk, talk to somebody that wanted to do the RAGBRAI ride, typically they would have uh, people riding and they would um, have maybe a backup person in a van or something who would go to the city ahead of them, set up their camp for them and everything. And so when they arrive, everything's set for them. Well, if they set this unit up with the solar panels, they could charge the unit up and then use this to charge your e-bike batteries, okay? And then while you're riding with your e-bike, they move off to the next city, set it up again and recharge the unit, all right? Let me give you an idea how much uh, you could actually use the, the unit for. Uh, they, they did some basic testing here from, um, from Acevolt. Let me give you an example. If you were charging uh, your iPhones, for instance, uh, you could do about 154 charges <laughs> using this unit. Um, if you were charging a laptop, about 31 charges. Um, if you were um, using a hair dryer, okay, a 1600 watt hair dryer, that would be about 66 minutes of use. Um, if you were to uh, use a 1000 watt microwave oven, about 102 minutes worth. Um, you make about 18 pots of coffee with the coffee maker. Uh, a mini cooler would have about 28 hours of power to be able to run. So you kind of get an idea how powerful this particular unit is. I thought about it for my own use at home since I don't go camping and I am not going to the rag by ride. What would I use this for? And I kept thinking, well, you know, if the sump pump, like if, if we had the, a power failure in the house, I could literally plug the sump pump power into this and run the sump pump with it. Yeah, to keep us safe. Um, or if you had a power outage and you needed to plug your refrigerator into it, you know, to keep it going for a while. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? So this is uh, actually a very helpful uh, unit. Now, for people like us who ride e-bikes, uh, is it practical? Um, this one's kind of large, to tell you the truth. They have the smaller unit, which is a little bit more portable. But um, like I said, in a situation like like the, um, the rag pry ride, if you had a, a, a person who was actually uh, your support person in the van, no reason why you can't bring something this large, okay? And you can charge several e-bike batteries at the same time. Like I said, on the, on the back of the unit or on the side of the unit, you have six AC outlets out there. So yeah, it's, it's very, very flexible. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time.